Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 3. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we go to the Denver airport. Is that actually where we're going? No, it. we're going to the Machine Commune before actually leaving this area, or uh, rather, before actually exploring this area, this area completely, because there are some places that we haven't been to. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. And we're back with big news. It seems that the infamous Desert Rangers have arrived in Denver. Stay tuned for more developments. Wait, is infamous the bad one? I always forget. No, it, 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 I'm pretty sure it can be used both ways, even though it isn't. It's, it is the traditionally the bad one, but it, it has changed its meaning. It's, it's so, sort of one of those words. Sal is a well-known radio DJ who broadcasts from the... Was that Sal? Yeah. we No, I don't know that that was Sal, but we have heard Sal, because I remember that. That's capital S, capital A, capital L, by the way. Machine Commune. They have a space shuttle. Greedo. Commune bomb hopper. Robots never painted this, surely. Don't call me, surely. Also... Yeah. The robots never painted anything. That's why photocopiers aren't a thing, because it would be a robot. That's... A choice? Hmm. I like that sound. Oh, that's cool. I like that sound. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh. Yeah, that, that foghorn sound. Obviously, that's the specific note that is very foghorny, but the, uh, th that's a special type of horny, by the way. Welcome, friends. You were gonna say, you always say something wrong. I don't understand what's wrong with you guys. They always say something and then cut themselves off and say another thing, or even worse, sometimes they say the same thing again. So it's like, hey, hello. Either way. Oh, I do need to talk. That's. Hmm? Whoa! Welcome to our commune, Desert Rangers. We've heard so many stories about you and your famously violent exploits. Come in. Our home is your home. I can override the robot systems. What does that mean even in any... What does that mean at all? Override the robot systems? I have no idea. Because, first off, the robot systems, we're, assume, you know, we're, we're treating you know the robot as a... a a, a, you know, a group of systems rather than a system in and of itself, which would be the correct way of using the word system. But much like Infamous, the word system has many uh, usages. So we'd, we'd be thinking maybe the programming or maybe the legs or maybe the engines or batteries. A bunch. There's a bunch of systems inside of a machine. We can we can look at it like that, just like there's a bunch of systems inside of an animal. But we can absolutely look at it like that. But what do you mean override them? Because overriding something means that it's... I'm not sure where the word comes from. So don't think of it, of me right now as saying, like, this is where the word comes from. But it's something, it's something akin to overwriting something. It's like if somebody tells you to, I don't know, to, to, to open a door and then somebody overrides that order. That's the same override that happens Every time an over the word override is used. I'm going to do it, but not right now. I am curious to see what's going to happen with that. I'll, I'll hopefully be able to... S Wait a minute. There's no good byline over here, which means this is a choice. Potentially, this is a choice instead of being like a dialogue tree. So I'm going to do that and see what the game thinks override the robot systems means. System override accepted. Administrator access. Overriding the security system is also a thing. You just bypass it. Sort of. It's making ellipses at us. 
No. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not cool! We value sanctity of mind here. Luckily, we've got millisecond backups just in case. But seriously, don't do that again. Be cool. Is that cool with you? Sounds awesome. This awesome could be the... Awesome is not necessarily a word that... Awesome... When was it? Was it the 90s? Where awesome was, was like the cool hip new word and then the 2000s was epic? Yeah. I remember epic being being the fang, the newfangled word that people used, even in Portuguese. Because, you know, the awesome, not so much. But anyway, but we're also looking for something called a cybernetic transfer module. That's what I was really trying to do. Then you should talk to the machine intelligence tower. It's a little bit northeast of here. We don't really have a leader. But for human purposes, you could consider them our leader. The machine intelligence tower is currently parsing data. But it'll call you when it's ready to talk. Until then, feel free to hang out and chat with members of the commune. We're all friends here. What do you think about the Gibbers? They don't like us, but they worship one of us. It's quite confusing. But so are a lot of things humans do. If only we had some way to bridge that gap of understanding. Hmm. It's curious that he thinks Reagan is one of them. Either either that is just a simplification of the whole thing, or it's like one of us is in a machine, or they they you know Reagan is actually with them, <laughs> and uh, they they yeah. If it's confusing, then Reagan wouldn't have communication with them. So it kind of be difficult for it for it to be with them. But anyway, why do we have to wait for the machine intelligence tower to quote call us? I don't know why quote call is a thing, but anyway, we we need to talk to it now. You can, but what's the fun in that? Chill and hang out, dude. Chat with some fun loving machines. Give your brain me to work out with some stimulating conversation. Mm hmm. Well, the game is very focused on combat, though. Anyway, what is the Machine Intelligence Tower, anyway? A multitude of sentient software programs working together for the good of all sentient life? Duh! Who wouldn't want to just talk to them? Just follow the steps into the airport, then the red line on the floor, step outside, then follow the catwalk up to the airport control tower. It's easy. Nah, don't worry. I explore everything. I don't need to know any uh, or uh, where anything is, because you just go all the places and then figure out where things are. So what's the story behind this, quote, commune, unquote? I'm, I'm, I'm doing air quotes a lot. A bunch of us decided that we wanted to be friends. Why fight humans, even if they hate and fear us, and mercilessly hunt us like genocidal gods, trying to fix a mistake in creation? Maybe someday we can all be friends together and talk nicely, like we're doing now. But even if that doesn't happen, it's nice to peacefully hang out with other machine life. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll see you later. Not if I see you first. Peace, humans. Quote, peace, unquote. Or C, quote, quote C, unquote. Uh, whatever. So we got killers. We have a Scanning bunch of. Scanning new arrivals. Hello. Species. Oh. Human. Affiliation. Desert Rangers. Current chosen names. Irrelevant. Threat assessment minimal. Terminating analysis. 281 health on these little things. Threat assessment is definitely not minimal. Definitely not. We have a party pal. We have seen one of these before, haven't we? That's a that's the quietest air horn in the world. Should we rotate the tortoise so its legs are in contact with the ground? Yes, you should. It's an octotron. It appears delicate. Perhaps we could encourage it to write itself. Correction. Perhaps we could encourage it to do so if it were not already dead. Oh. Beep. Zero, zero, one, 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 one. Hmm. Rhetorical question. Rigid tortoise, if we flip you, where might you lead us? Ooh, zero zero one 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 one. Wait, 
Is that what you... Tortoise's name is Bert. I do not know the source of this information, but I am certain it is correct. Zero, zero, one, one... I too am certain that Bert is the correct designation. For sure it is. I, I was trying to decode the binary, but I don't know the number. The I cannot compute why this tortoise and its challenges are so compelling. This. Oh, that's what I had to do all along. The tortoise appears to be as rigid as a stone. It lays on its back, legs in the air. And I can flip the tortoise on to its feet, which... Well, at least I can leave it alone, but I was already leaving it alone before, and they were just talking. So now let's see what happens when I flip the tortoise onto its feet. Which means that this isn't really a choice, but it's a good thing that it is here, because I can back off. While flipping the tortoise over, you notice small, precise letters carved into its shell. Bert the tortoise. It is Bert. The tortoise remains as rigid as a stone. Its feet touch the ground, but it's not moving. Okay. Click. Not much going on here. We got the stags and the, the does. The situation does not appear to have changed. Despite the 182 degree rotation, this strengthens our earlier hypothesis. A dead tortoise is unlikely to move. It's kind of funny that you were, went to the precise... Hypothetical. If the world were a simulation, this would be strong proof. A single turtle... Immovable, inexplicably immune to damage. Perhaps Wait, what? our architects simply did not have time to make the turtle as complicated as the rest of us. Judgment. That is a ridiculous assertion. Cease contributing. <laughs> I think that's a... Rhetorical question. Tortoise, were you alive? Would you feel gratitude to the rangers? Can't really shoot the tortoise. I, too, am certain that Bert is the correct designation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of funny that they, specific, they, they specified 182 degree rotation, but the, it would it, like they didn't take it far enough because, you know, when you rotate something, you'd rotate it along one of the axes, one of the infinitely <gasps> many Good axes. Thought, but I'm on the other side of the ship. It's Sal. Yeah, because you rotate something... Depends on how you rotate it, right? Because I could have... I rotated the tortoise, uh, like, along this axis, maybe? I could have rotated it along this one, or I could have rotated it, like, the other way, put the head over that side. It would still be 182, or thereabouts, degree rotation. It's just, you know, sort of like... If you're going to specify it, specify which axis it is. High-powered radio equipment has been welded to the spaceship's exterior frame. It is called a hull, I believe. Well. Hi, Sal. I'm not going to talk to you right now because you seem very keen on talking to me. And we have a soundtrack going on. And we have... Wow, things going on. Okay, let's not go there because there's songs and I don't want to have to mess with the volume for the moment. Can I Can I see inside? That would be really nice. Thank you. Hello. Well, hi there. Glad to see you in person and not, you know, via the radio waves bouncing off of you. I'm Sal, as you might have guessed, the voice of Free Colorado. Afraid I don't do autographs. Not because I don't want to, but, you know, no hands. I've been listening to you my whole life. But you don't look anything like I imagined. I'll bet you hear that all the time. I hate to... No, I don't hate... I love to be pedantic here, but what makes you think you're looking at Sal... In the sense that, you know, you weren't looking at Sal when, you know, you heard the radio. So why why would you be looking at Sal right now? Obviously, you we are looking at Sal. That is clear. But mostly, but, but it's obvious because, well, it's a video game. Obviously, I mean, the way they're talking, it's clear that we're looking at Sal. But she has no reason to believe that it is. Either way. You have no idea. That's what I was saying. She has no idea. Especially if she thinks that you don't look at anything like she expected. Cause, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like you, you, it's like you, 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 you mark a meeting with somebody who you, who've never seen. I mean, maybe not in 2020, but you mark, or 
anyway, the, you mark a meeting with somebody you've never seen, and then you arrive at the cafe or something, and you see the first person there and go, oh, it's you. I, I didn't think you looked like that. And it's not them, because, well, why, why would you think it's them? Anyway, are you in charge of the commune? Me? No, I can barely manage my own broadcast schedule. Put me in space, and I'm a right genius. But down here, I'm just me. Oh, Sal is the... Well, clearly the computer for the, the space shuttle. So, I gotta ask, what do you think of my radio broadcasts? I don't often get the opportunity to hear direct feedback. I will answer in the way that most pleases you so that I can get quests for from you or something. But I don't, I'm not a big fan, honestly. They're they're a little bit too intrusive. They could they could be, you know, maybe you you'll always hear a broadcast every time you rest or every time you enter an, uh, an area or something, but they show up every, at random and while I'm talking. So, it's just like ugh. We love your work though. It it really livens things up. No, it doesn't. While uh, we're driving around. Fantastic. I'll keep on keeping on. Oh, if I knew, I would have told you to shut up. Well, I'm sure you've got places to be and people to query. Head on in. My friends in the commune would love to meet you. Have a great one. For sure, for sure, I will. Sal's Terminal. See, it doesn't even say that it's Sal. It's Sal's Terminal. It's like... Right? It's... Uh, especially for robots. Like, <laughs> you're not really seeing, you're just seeing Rhetorical a machine, you know what I mean? Rather than, alive, would you feel gratitude to the oh, this is a dead end. It's got some interesting sounds over here. This very industrial, I whatever. Am certain that Bert is but we have to proceed. There wasn't really a choice. This is a linear level. I didn't realize that because I was sticking, I was hugging the left wall. And uh, that, so it... I don't know what Sal was going on about things being you know, smart of you to come here or to try or something. Okay, and we have Og Ag. Og. We got a, a globe. We have enemies? I think that's the sound of enemies. We have a. F Wait, this is a space suit, I believe. And that is a painting. Brother in Chains. And this is another painting, Conquering Colorado. I don't understand any of this. You like the mural? I made them. Well, most of them. Did you most of them? Because I... Who's, who said that? I didn't see that thing. We have Indigo Rouge. So, what do you think of the paintings? They're fantastic. Nice work. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well... That's one more secret of the universe unraveled. Time to start over. Thanks, Rangers. Can I not ask you about what what, what that was about? Uh, apparently, I can't. We'll never know what Indigo means by time to start over or any of that. How did you come up with these anyway? I paint what comes to me in dreams. Also, yeah, I programmed myself to sleep. Back to work. Okay. You, you do realize you don't need to sleep to have dreams, and vice versa, you don't need to have dreams to sleep. But I, I'm being very pedantic today. Is it? Am I, is it, am I always like this? Okay. That was a radio, so it's just the robots. So we have commune bomb thing. We have some containers that I can take from, because there's no telling if they're going to be upset at me. We have a tax evasion for morons tem top 10 secrets they don't want you to know. Uh, I thought it was going to be a joke thing, but apparently it, it, it's supposed to work. Because, uh, either way. We have somebody called Vivi Section, but it's not. What is it? It is Vivi Sector. RN? What is RN? I don't know what that is. It's a robot, for sure, but I don't know what RN means. A Vendomatic 2000? Time has been unkind to this battered vending machine. The exterior is covered in tacky stickers, and the glass is caked with filth. Looking closely, you notice extensive graffiti discussing goat genitalia. 
step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexingly vast world of Vendomatic 2000. I've got everything you need. Everything? God damn it. I always get that line wrong. Can you take a few steps back and then do that over? Act surprised. Adds to the atmosphere. The vending machine, which had come alive at your approach, seems to sag onto itself. Hmm. Sure, why not? Let's try again. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexing vast world of the Vendomatic 2000. The fantastical, phenomenal, and mystical. Hydraulic squeak and grind as it goes on for another minute or so, spilling adjectives like a drunk until it at last subsides. That is that was a line written for a game without voice acting is what that was cuz you don't make boredom jokes in a game with voice acting in a sense boredom you don't you shouldn't make boredom jokes in the first place cuz it's basically you writing something that is boring on purpose and then the joke is that it's boring and like you're forcing the player to read it and obviously in the case in this case you're not forcing the player to read it but there's no joke in it cuz the there's no boredom. It's just you. Anyway, the, I'm here. I'm here to do the boredom. I'm the one that talks about boring things. Uh, do you want to do another take? No. What's the point? I'll just duck it up anyway. But enough about me. Let's talk about you, good customer. What can we do for you? And this, this, this lines over here. These lines are also very low volume. I'm having to up the the uh the volume of the machine by uh, 10 decibels otherwise it just it doesn't doesn't work i have one dollar you can hear your money clanking through the vendomatic 2000s insides a pneumatic shriek and a shuddering whine like something caught and broken between gears huh. odd well like i always say if at first you don't get what you want just pay again hmm Check around the back. No, let's go with this one. Probably open the access terminal and see if we can stop it from being a cheat. The Vendomatic 2000's internals are easy for you to navigate. You can immediately tell that someone has installed an override to its core personality. Within a few minutes, you have removed the hack, and with it, Vendomatic's compulsion to sh... Right, right. The, you know, Vendomatic's, because I'm, it's a, I'm, we're on a first name... Basis. Vendomatic's compulsion to cheat, cu cheat customers. Ah, thank you, friend. Back in the old days, a rather unscrupulous owner of mine rigged me up to cheat customers. I hate, hate, hated it, but I couldn't do anything to change it. <sighs> Awful. But now I feel great. I feel like singing. Star Spangled Banner, Chris Ben. Ooh, that tickled something. Anyway, what can I do you for? That appears to have worked, says the narrator. I could have said that. That that's the that's the sort of lines that oh, do we get a discount here? Not really. I'll sell you all the junk. I might be able to buy some interesting things. That's a utility. Night terror plushy. It's so cute and cuddly. Exclamation mark space ellipses space ew. Is that slime? You don't like slime? Slime is so nice. Apart from the fact that it collects dust like nobody's business, and then it isn't very nice. Although it's still nice. It's just because it doesn't. It collects dust. It doesn't give you the dust back. You just you can touch a, a dusty slime. It doesn't. You don't get dusty hands. But still, insulating vehicle plating. That's. I'm sure that would come in handy if it mattered. We have far sight computer assisted scope. Mm. Requires nine weapon modding. Extra range. You know what? Actually, that that um, you know all, all joking aside about. Well, I wasn't really joking about the items, but I was I was having I was being a little bit the uh, uh, ridiculous with my commentary because well I I can feel it when I'm I'm, I'm being picky. Don't know why I was picky. I, I I I don't take it back, but I don't know. Either way, the point is that I think that's a unique one that we don't get to see. Dead eye experimental scope that increases critical chance and decreases range. Oh, this decreases critical chance. No, that's terrible. Screw that. I just, I didn't, I thought it was, that's the thing with weapon modding. I assume these don't, uh, it says weapon mod scope, so they, they're they not going to work. But, like, it feels like that one's just necessarily better, but it isn't. 
I don't think it is. Obviously, you, it's up to your preference as a player, but I don't like items like that. I like I like Stalker, Clear Sky, and uh, what's the word? The, the other one, Call of Pripyat. Both of those Stalkers have the best weapon customization system, I feel. And it, every game should have that, because it's just like, great. We have some interesting automatic weapons over here, but nothing too important. And, of course, we have ammo, which... Ooh, what is that? Oh, plasma grenades. Right. I don't need anything else. Thank you very much. What can I do you for, champ? I thought I could talk about other things. I'm gonna take another look inside you. What's with the hungry hands, friend? Everything's in tip-top shape. No need to probe the plumbing. Step right down. Hmm. I could tr tweak it so it wants to give you a discount. Sure. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That is my mind. You are messing with me. Hey, best friend, I'm going to sing you a song. But first, I'm going to give you a discount. No, you didn't give me a discount as far as I can tell. It's still minus six. So, don't know what that is. It doesn't matter. I didn't want to buy anything. So, hiddenist robot? Click, set goes the robot. Not being very hedonistic there, matey. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so we're going to talk to the doctor robot in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 3. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.